guys and welcome to sunny LA. I was just filming a video before about what's in my travel bag which I will link below and show you and I was saying that I can look at a beautiful view right now and I really wish you could see it because you're stuck looking at the back. I can't turn the camera around because it's too bright, there's so much sunshine coming in so I'm sorry about that guys, we just have to imagine some beautiful sunshine and if you're wondering why my nails are all different colours it's because this morning I went shopping. Um, we've just landed in LA and I hit the shops because I forgot loads of stuff at home and I ended up turning into a bit of a shopping spree so I thought I'd do a quick haul for you and then I'm going to go outside and enjoy the sunshine so first of all I'm going to start with some makeup bits and bobs Sephora my favorite shop over here um, and I got some good things actually because I've been wanting a makeup roll and I undenied about buying this last time I was in America I didn't get it and I regretted it and then this time I bought it lots and lots of space for my brushes um, I had a makeup roll actually before and then didn't really use it and I've realised how bad it is not to have a makeup roll because your brushes all get manky if you put them with your makeup so um, that was the first thing I bought then I haven't opened this so I'm going to try and have to show you through the packaging um, but basically this is a contour brush from Sephora um, I really want to start learning how to contour so if over the next few weeks my face looks a bit weird um, and I look like a clown you'll know that I have been practicing contouring um, this if I can open it this is the hardest oh there it is um, so basically a contouring brush looks like this it allows you to define bronzer highlighter and um, I would like to talk about um, how to contour but I don't really know how yet so I'm going to experiment with that this is number 74 it's just their pro contour brush and I'm really excited to use that because um, I like their brushes then also I bought a few more things um, from Sephora the first thing I bought is this Becca um, shimmering skin perfecter in the colour Moonstone. Um, this I bought because again I want to start contouring and um, I'm going to use be using this as my highlighter. Oh my goodness this is amazing! Um, I've used the Becca primers and I was so impressed by them so I chose Becca as a brand because I know it's good and I'm hoping that will be really good too. Um, and for the bronzing side of it I picked up NARS Laguna on recommendation of my little sister Holly who is getting ready in the bathroom right now howdy to Holly hey she's um she, she, she contours better than I do so she recommended this for me um, I've seen her use this all the time and I love it I don't know why I haven't bought it before so NARS thank you very much it's a beautiful bronzer because it's not too shimmery um, so I'm really looking for it looks really dark in the packaging but it doesn't look too dark when it goes on because I've seen it on Holly um, the next thing I got I watched um, Sparkle Barbie's video Casey's video and she was talking about Sephora's new um, nail polish that they bought out called Formula X um, this I have heard so many good things about and this is in standout it's different for me actually because it's like a pearly color it's actually without swearing at you on my middle finger that was swearing at you but I didn't mean to swear at you, you know what I mean guys um, so it's like a pearly finish and I'm really impressed I've literally put all the colours on me today um, and they're amazing they, they're just thick um, it's almost like shellac but it's not it's just really cool so I'm excited to do a full hand of that and maybe do it in a couple of tutorials for you guys then also I picked up this eye priming perfecter from Becca um, this is like a concealer but what it does is it like gets rid of fine lines and smooths everything out under your eye you can put a concealer on top of this um, I think I may just be using it on its own I just tried it in the shop because and I was to, it's one of those products that I put on I wasn't really expecting it to do anything and I was like wow I was like it felt so like satin under my eye amazing um, and I looked like I was awake rather than jet lagged so I bought that also um, on recommendation again from Amelia um, she keeps going on about um, the Armani luminous silk foundation and how much she loves it and I really have wanted to try it for so long so I picked up this foundation um, this is in number four I was really excited to kind of see how this feels on my skin and from testing it in the shop it looks really nice so I will keep you guys updated on how that figures out for me um, next on to Forever 21, um, hilarious, I burn so easily so I bought a cap, Holly was literally laughing at me um, when I bought this, look how gangster, no, I was laughing because you turned it round the other way, oh yeah I turned it round the other way like this, I was like oh do you think I could like pull a cap off like this, yeah, 
uh, no. Um, I'm literally the most ungangster person in the world. Um, but I love this because there's spikes, so it's going to be my angry clothing. So when I go roller skating, I'm going to be like, I don't think I can pull it off. I'm going to try. I'm already in love with it. Um, then I bought a little headband, which I thought was really cute for my non-angry days. So this is um, just a little kind of like, I don't know whether I'm going to wear it like there or on the top. Um, Super cheap, I love Forever 21 because even if you don't wear it that much, it was like $2 or something for that. And then I bought two necklaces as well because I like staple necklaces um, for kind of statement, staple, <laughs> just a whole load of staples. Um, the first one is this flowery one which I thought was super super cute and the second one is this green one, I don't have anything like that. So again, I think they were like $8 each. Who could go wrong with $8? What do we have next? Oh my goodness, Bath and Body Works. They had a sale on with their candles and I've just run out of them. Um, if you don't know about these candles, they are the most amazing candles in the world. That is just my opinion, um, but I think it's right. Um, they are basically, Holly was telling me about them, that they're kind of like an oil, so the way they burn is oily. I don't really understand. Anyway, they smell amazing. They're probably the best candle I've ever had. They burn so well. They smell amazing. This is Black Sands, which reminds me of a beach. Um, I also got, I got four actually, because they're on sale. It was like two for $20. Um, this one is Cedarwood. Oh my God, it smells amazing. It smells like a man. And I know that's really weird, but oh my God. It just actually, my house is gonna smell like a fit man. Um, so yeah, it smells like weird. I think if someone walked past me with that scent, I'd be like, hello there. Um, so I had to get that one. And then I got red guava lava, which is so like guava. I don't even know what guava fruit is, but it smells freaking good. Um, and then last but not least, I got um, a eucalyptus and mint one. This is meant to be stress relief. <laughs> because um, I talked to you guys a few weeks ago about having anxiety sometimes I get heart palpitations so I'm hoping that will help and I can maybe do some yoga and meditation and that might help a little bit then oh my god I'm so excited about this ah, I went to the American tea room um, which you know how much I love tea and I bought sadly six yes six six of the same tea um, I bought their brioche tea which Fleur and I rave about when we found it we were like oh it's like a biscuit in a tea, loose leaf tea, almond cinnamon, the best tea in the whole wide world. It's like a biscuit, like a French patisserie in a cup. <gasps> and they don't sell this in the UK because it's the American Tea Room's own stamp tea. Um, I have milk with it. I'm not going to go on about it anymore. I've just, I've like stopped up just in case they shut down. The guy was like, you just want six of the same. I was like, give it to me. Um, so then, um, I think we're getting on to the end of it now. Um, one more, oh yeah, before we go to H&M, went into Victoria's Secret. Um, I'm not gonna show you this in detail because it's a bit weird, but if you like bright pants and you don't really have anyone to impress in your life, go to Victoria's Secret. I'm not really gonna do close-ups of these because they're hilarious. Oh my freaking God, it's like a rainbow in a, I don't really like showing people pants, but I'm just going to give you a glimpse of these because they're amazing. Um, I always stock up on these pants because they're super comfy. They're pretty cheap as well, and they're just so damn bright. I always think if I was in an accident and the fireman had to like cut my clothes off, he'd be like, whoa. Um, and then last but not least, I went to H&M. And I want to do a get ready with me outfit when I get back for you guys with this. So I'm going to do a video on it. The first thing I bought was this bag, which I thought was really cute because it reminds me of like a little sailor bag. It's really sweet. Um, and this was pretty reasonable. It's like $24. So I thought that was quite cool with the little blue stripes. To go with it, I bought this white dress, um, which is kind of like cute. It's almost so bright. You can't really see the detail there. Gypsy kind of lacy kind of really sweet. Um, and then I also bought from there um, a little black slip dress which I'm just going to wear in the daytime when I get back to the UK probably or even here when I'm in the daytime because it's kind of like floaty and I like stuff like that and then also I bought a couple of cute shorts um, because it's going to be really hot here. The first ones are these white ones which are really cute because they've got the little detail on the bottom. The second ones are some blue shorts. I don't know why I bought these. I was just in like a colourful mood. I was like really just want some bright clothes. Um, so they're really cute and they were $12. You can't go wrong with $12. And then last but not least I bought another necklace. I think I'm addicted to necklaces. Um, and this was um, just really pretty. So I thought it was really really nice. Um, 
so basically I've spent all my money um, and um, I'm not going shopping again so I did all my shopping in about three hours boom done and now I can enjoy my trip here so um, I thought I'd show you guys and yeah I'm gonna do a couple of get ready's with me with these things I love you all I wish you were here so much and I'm gonna go outside now into the sunshine and I will see you all again soon bye guys last but not least dinner when I'm away I tend to wear my hair like this every day a bit curly um, it's a dream of being a surfer chick not um, and um, so I just want minimum curls